Hello everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube channel, Victoria Physics. I hope you all are fine amidst this COVID crisis. Well, we have started with virtual labs and quite a few experiments are being done in electronics and communication section. Gradually, I will go on to physical science and computer science and electrical engineering sections, which are uh, relevant, the experiments there are relevant to uh, Calcutta University syllabus. I will teach all of them. Just uh, uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, also hit the bell icon for uh, automatic update, okay, of the videos that I upload so that you don't miss any of them. So let's move uh, to our task today. Today we'll do about inverting and non-inverting op amp. And for that, you have to uh, go to this virtual lab, just type in virtual lab in Google. And the first thing that opens up, click on that. Or you can also directly click on electronics and communication, but I'm just showing you the process once again. Just this is the main page of virtual lab. This part is free, of course. You can access all the experiments. You can do the experiments multiple times and you don't need to pay any kind of subscription for this. But uh, in my other videos, you must have seen multi-sim and uh, uh, every circuit are, uh, uh, you need to pay some amount. They are not free versions okay so over here go below and you'll see electronics and communication click on that you have a lot of options over here click on basic electronics lab and over there you'll get all the list of the experiments that is being uploaded over here click on list of experiments we have already done quite a few of them and i hope to finish all of them gradually and i guess it's have helpful for you all so we'll do uh, experiment number 16 that is study of the basic properties of operational amplifier inverting and non-inverting amplifier this is for our fourth semester students, uh, physics owner students uh, of Calcutta University CBCS system. And this experiment is also useful for any other uh, university having the same type of curriculum, okay? So you have a theoretical part over here in case you are uh, not aware of uh, how an inverting op-amp works and how a non-inverting op-amp works then you can just go through this uh, theory they have explained the, this part very nicely you have the circuit diagram the inverting op amp uh, and the non-inverting op amp both are written over here and you have the working formula as well this section is necessary you have to write this section entirely in your theory part uh, when it is asked in the question Okay, you have the procedure as well over here. Just go through this procedure section. Each and every step, if you follow, it is not at all hard to simulate the experiment virtually. So after that, clicking on simulation, a window will open where you have the options to simulate both of them. And uh, we will be simulating uh, just a second. So uh, we'll just begin with inverting op-amp. So click on inverting op-amp. And this page opens up where in between you find the uh, circuit diagram. You have the experimental table beside where you can uh, jot down your readings and also the graphical plot. This is actually a complete setup. You can just uh, click on every part and uh, you can join and you can then take the readings, you can check your connections if you want, you can plot the connections as well. Okay, so uh, once again, you can also check the instructions over here. And just a second. So 
we'll begin by doing the connections. I hope you are aware of the inverting uh, op amp. This is the inverting terminal. This is the non-inverting terminal. If you uh, apply a signal at this inverting terminal, uh, the, as the name suggests, what happens at the output, which is pin number six of the op amp, uh, you'll see the uh, signal is being inverted. It is 180 degree inverted and uh, it is also amplified. Okay, the basic purpose of this uh, circuit is amplification. So uh, connect this part. Okay, uh, this you are uh, connecting this uh, inverting terminal to the supply. Okay, and connect this point. Also connect this feedback path connect the output part, it's very simple. And at last connect the ground, okay? So your circuit is done. Now you can check the connection. It is saying uh, right connection and it is prompting you for the next stage. Uh, what do you have to do after uh, doing this? So they are set, saying that you have to set the resistance R1 and RF as input voltages. So click on OK and click over here. R1 say I want to take as one kilo and I want to take this as 10 kilo. Okay. I hope you know the theoretical part of this uh, section. If you are stuck in anywhere, just go back to my YouTube channel over there. You have the playlist of the theoretical section of analog electronics where I have uh, explained each and every uh, op amp related circuit uh, in details. And then you can come back and check this uh, part. So, uh, also uh, give the input voltage as uh, I want to give it to 50. Okay. So, after this, what you can do is you can do add to table. So, the first uh, reading is being shown over here. So, it's saying uh, because I have just taken this as 15 volts. So, you might be knowing the formula that is RF by R one or our input into V in. That will give you the output. So it's positive voltage means you get an amplified negative voltage. If I have given here a negative supply input voltage, then I'll get a positive output. So just checking once again for your convenience. Suppose I have taken, uh, say it was from zero. So I have taken say one, uh, say three volt and I have added so it's 10 times because um, RF by R1 gives you 10 times so it's uh, input if it's three then the output is minus 30 so say again I have taken say six so it would be fetching me minus 60 at a table and say I have taken uh, say 10 it will give me 100. So in this way, you can take a few readings on the positive axis. So suppose I've taken say 12. And I can also vary my negative axis if you wish. So if I take a few values like minus two in, as input, then I'll get a positive output. So you, you can check over here. So my sixth uh, reading was minus two is input. So I get an output voltage of 20 positive value. And it is also showing you the current correspondingly. And so now if I take uh, say five, then I'll get uh, scroll down. You see minus five, you get the output as 50. So take few more readings so that the graph comes a better way. You can take on your own. I'm just taking as my own convenience. Uh, Okay, minus eight I have taken and say minus 10. Now I have taken few readings, uh, eight to nine, 10 readings, suppose. 
and I've taken this R1 as one, RF as 10. You can also plot by varying this RF and R1 as per your convenience and check out these readings, okay? Now you can, you have to submit this uh, part. So uh, plot the readings and you can see this plot has come. Over here, a print section is also given. You can print from here. So it's very easy to do the circuit. And you can take uh, another set of, this is a set one where I've taken R1 as one kilo, RF as 10 kilo. You can do another set and also check the values accordingly. I hope this part is quite clear to you all now. Uh, moving on to the next part will be the non-inverting op amp, okay? Thank you. So in the same way, if I go back uh, to this section and uh, now we will do non-inverting uh, operational amplifier. So again, the circuit is given the experimental table. You have the instructions over here and you have all the controls to control the uh, variables and you have the graphical section. Similarly, you can do the experiment as you have done uh, just now in case of uh, inverting op amp, okay? So uh, let us begin our connection now. So we'll do uh, the connections, connect uh, this part uh, first because uh, now we are doing non-inverting amplifier. This is the non-inverting terminal. So the supply should be connected to the non-inverting terminal and the inverting terminal should be grounded, okay? And as the name suggests, whatever signal you apply over here, it will be uh, remaining unchanged. And I mean to say they will be not inverted, but they will be amplified as per your R1 and RF combination. Okay, so after that, connect this section and so your circuit is done. It's a very simple circuit. Now, the next step is to check your connection. So this says right connection, you have to give uh, R1 and RF values. So I'm considering the same values, R1 say as one kilo and RF say as 10 kilo, that helps me to actually uh, understand. So this, uh, the formula over here, I, I guess you remember is one plus RF by R1. So uh, take the values, you can take uh, on both sides, the input values. So suppose I take the input values as say two. So I should be getting 22, right? Because I've taken uh, RF by R1 is 10 plus one is 11. So it, it will give me 11 times. As I said, it is known inverting. So uh, there, there wouldn't be any negative sign over here. Okay, because it, is, it remains the same. The phase is the same, just it is amplified. So in this manner, you take a few more readings, uh, say suppose uh, four at a table, uh, say as seven at a table, 10 at a table. I've taken four in this side, and I want to take negative values as well. So minus two at a table. Each time, don't forget to add to the table. And I'm just taking arbitrary values just to show you how the circuit works, okay? So these are my uh, data and I want to plot this data. So here you have the plot. So submit the in this format, uh, I'll be mentioning the values of RF and R1 in the question paper. You don't have to worry about that. So I hope this inverting and this non-inverting uh, section is quite clear to you by now. And if you have any kind of queries, please drop in your questions to the chat box or you can also write to me. 
And this is a, uh, this virtual lab is free setup. So if you wish to learn the same uh, analog circuits or digital circuits in uh, any other platform like the Multisim or the Circuit Lab or every circuit or any other format you wish to know, you can just write to me. I hope to provide you some kind of tutorials so that you'll be able to manage your work, okay? So thank you once again and stay safe uh, until our next class, okay? Take care.